in our local campaign coverage. Now, third-party candidates and even some write-in candidates have got more attention this year than usual due to the unpopularity of the two major presidential candidates. But what chance do they have, if any, of winning? Local News 8's Chris Nesman is live here in the studio. Chris, talked to a political science professor at BYU-Idaho about this. So how often is it that a write-in candidate wins, Chris? Well, Jay, to be completely honest, it hardly ever happens. And in the few cases that it does, it's usually because the person running already has solid name recognition. The only Senate races that you'll ever see write-in candidates win uh, is if there's an incumbent senator and something has happened that made it so that they can't run as the party they represent in the Senate. And so they'll run as a write-in candidate. I think three times in the history of in the recent past, three times those people have won. That's three times out of dozens of write-in candidates on the ballot each year. Even for relatively popular candidates like presidential candidate Evan McMullen, they have a major uphill battle on their hands simply because how most Americans vote. Most Americans don't know the names of the people they vote for. They look for party first, then they look for names they recognize, and then they sort of vote based on that. In most years, the most popular write-in name for president isn't even real. The write-in candidate that gets the most votes in every presidential race, Mickey Mouse. Fictional character, people know the name. Number two is Donald Duck. But like anything, there always has to be a first time. If you plan to vote for someone who's a write-in, the biggest thing is to know their last name and make sure they're an official write-in candidate. They have to be a viable candidate that is um, registered with the state or the county. Um, we do not provide the list for them. They have to be informed about um, the candidate that they want to write in. Idaho does have several registered write-in candidates, meaning if you vote for them, your vote will actually be tallied. Reporting live in studio, I'm Chris Nestman. Thank you, Chris. If the name you put down isn't registered with the county or the state for their respective office, that vote just will not count. So no Mickey Mouse for president. Also make sure you join us on election night as we have extended coverage of both the local and national elections on November 8th.